Oh. How do they feel? I'm looking at them. Squeaky clean. They're all still in there. You didn't remove any of them. Thank you. Yes. Where's Violet? Where's Violet? Where's Violet? Oh, there she is. There's Violet. There's my Violet. I got my baby Mommy. girl. No, I'm your daddy. We're gonna have to get that figured out. So my daughter's two, and I did not start out thinking that I wanted to have kids or wanted to be a dad. But after my daughter was born and I got to know her, I just felt this like extreme love for her in my heart. If she were to go away, I would be sad. I don't necessarily love the responsibilities that come with being a parent. There are a lot of them, but if my daughter weren't in my life, I would be devastated. This is what a big delay during the weekday looks like. Everyone is waiting for the train this morning. And here it comes. The next stop is Broadway. Since November, I've been making six videos a week. I'm not getting burned out. I'm having a blast. I absolutely love this. And I've been a real estate agent since 2008, and for most of the time that I've been a real estate agent, I've also loved that. But I've actually had two other jobs since I got to New York that were life-changing, incredible opportunities that I got burnt out from and walked away from, which you might think are crazy. So the first of those opportunities was down here in the financial center, right over here by this building. Now I originally moved here to be an accountant and the entrance to that company is now a Louis Vuitton. But all this is still the same though. And the company that I worked at was called Deloitte. It's one of the four, well they're doing some construction, one of the four biggest accounting firms in the entire country. Now my first year working here in this building, I was an absolute rock star. If the company told me to do something, I did it and then I asked them for more. I was just doing everything I could. But burnout for me happened with that job when the results that I got didn't line up with what I thought my expectations were. I got a 12% raise after my first year, bringing my pay up to 58. And I ended up quitting that job and getting into real estate. But real estate hasn't exactly been burnout free either. And there have been moments in my career where I doubted whether or not I would make it. The biggest of those moments was in 2013 in January. It was my second year running my first real estate company, which I started with my mentor in 2010. My business partner decided that the relationship he wanted to have with me wasn't one where we were partners. It was one where I went back to just being an agent at his company. That really hurt and I didn't know at the time what I was gonna do and at that moment, I didn't care if I quit real estate. But the same day I found out that my current business wasn't gonna work out the way that I thought, I got a call from my current business partner, uh, who's one of my best friends, and he basically said, look, you have all the tools to start and run your own company, you just don't know it yet. And I told him on the phone, I was like, dude, I do not feel like it either. I don't even care if I do real estate. I don't know if I'd still be doing real estate if I didn't have external support, I really don't. But the truth of the matter is that at the time, real estate was my best option. I didn't have an out, so even if I wanted to burn out, I couldn't because I'd have nowhere to go, which was not exactly the case with the second business that I started and totally got burnt out with. So this second business that I started was something I was completely addicted to from the moment it began until the moment it ended. It was an online brand that I started in my apartment in 2015, which made products that we then sold on Amazon. These products were all of a custom design. They were in the home and garden category and it did really well. Thank you. I didn't think I would uh, run into you. What's up? How's it going? Nice to meet Is you. Is that too. a sweet green salad? Oh, hell yeah. I've oh, heard you dude. before. Dude, but sweet green's great, it's man. It's so good. It's all sugar. That's why it's so good. Cheers. Hey. Once I get an nice apartment, I'll hit you up. Awesome. Have a good one, guys.
but that was a growing business and as it grew the annual earnings from it which were in addition to my real estate earnings were really good but then i started making youtube videos and the crazy thing was since this is something i'm even more excited about i could just feel all of my enthusiasm for that business just being sucked away. I just didn't have the energy for it. I didn't want to log in anymore and check the sales. I didn't care if customers left negative reviews and we needed to improve the products. I was absolutely done and it was like a light switch. I went from being all in to all out within the span of like 60 days, I would say. But fortunately, this was still something that my business partner was and remains excited about. So we came to an agreement where he bought me out of my share of it and it all ended up working out. Five years worth of work, it ended up being like selling a house. This little area over here on Kenmare Street has tons of restaurants. This little taco place behind me is excellent. Is this taco place really excellent? I, excellent, I said that in my video. Yes, yes, it is? Course. There you go. Unbiased review from someone who's already seated. Eileen's is here and there's also Champion Pizza. Just look at all the pictures on the wall. This place has been here forever. But at least for me, I think burnout's actually a good thing because I'm not gonna stop doing something that I'm excited about or that I'm good at to then just go and do nothing. I've always kind of needed that next thing, that next opportunity, that next venture to kind of come up. Without something like that taking place, I can't see myself changing what I am doing. And speaking of trying to be a real estate agent, we are pretty much back at the office. I was just in the bathroom looking at my teeth. I have a dental appointment in two hours. Ooh, commission checks. I'll take them. There's quite a few of them too. Signing these checks, this is tough work. Just kidding, it's not that hard. All right, took care of a few things. Now I gotta go to the dentist. My dentist is giving me a hard time because I wasn't gonna do the vlog in the dental office, but. He told me I didn't have the right look for No, it. I said you do look like a, you are a dentist, right? I look so you see the little triangle of gums between those front teeth? Yeah. So most people think the point of flossing is to get between the teeth like that, but you're not even touching the gums. Mm -hmm. And the gums is where all the plaque and buildup happen. Hug one side of the tooth, scrape up and down. Oh, okay. Go to the other side and scrape up and down. Got it. Oh. How do they feel? I'm looking at them. Year. That's why this was so bad, was and because exactly, I waited a year. Exactly. What if I wait two years? That is even more fun. And if I ever forget how to floss, I can just rewatch this video and reteach myself since I just got free professional advice. And so did you. Thank you for watching. Pick another video, and I'll see you in the next one.